Hi, welcome to Gigi's Altered Objects. This is one of the projects that I need to complete before I can get back to the shadow box that we're kind of in the middle of. So this is my first junk journal and I made this for my oldest niece, Tasha, for her youngest daughter who is graduating in a couple weeks and they're not going to be able to do their walk. So she asked a few of us to put something special together for justice. So I have her initials here. The cover I painted with this purple. This is an art anthology uh, dimension paint. And of course, I'll put all of this information in the box below. Um, the gold accents I painted with this uh, metallic 20 gold that was from um, Target. And then I used a stencil and some texture paste like this from Ranger to create the uh, raised embellishments here, embossing. On the outside of these figures, after painting them gold, and I've shared this with you before, I used the Gilder's Paste Wax, the German Silver, and that just helps to uh, pick up the raised parts and the details a little better. And tied some ribbons and bows on her initials. On the spine, I just created uh, large round jump hoops and tied different, uh, the, her school colors are gold and purple. That's why that's, I chose those colors. So, um, and then there's a little beadwork. I included these little keys, charms, and then a little string of purple and gold beads on the spine as well. Um, the closure I glued from the inside underneath the cover paper and just used this gold and purple ribbon. And then on the first page, look, we have a little something happening there. I'll get my eraser and fix that. There is a waterfall and just a few little grad things. And I can't tell you where all these came from. I had so much fun. I just got into my stash, since it was a junk journal, and pulled out all the things that I haven't used and a couple pads of paper that I thought were apropos for a teenage girl. And so I'm not gonna be able to tell you where I got all these things from because who knows how long I've had them. So I just made a little closure with a magnet there, did a little ribbon banner, and then it's just a little waterfall and I put the brads on the end to look like little buttons. On this side, there's a large Graphic 45 envelope. Um, this butterfly comes from the Wings collection of Tim Holtz, I can share that with you. Um, here is a little metal filigree butterfly and I can also share with you the two pads of paper that I used um, throughout the book. So this came from one of those and it was on the page. It also said, spread your wings. And then there's some little wing uh, charm right there and washi tape. This also comes out. Can you see that? Is that in the camera? There we go. Okay, so this closes and then pulls out. And then what I did to make the pages a little thicker, because this was just a um, regular a regular notebook, just a spiral notebook. Oh, I also put the metal corners here and here. Um, so I glued a firm piece of cardstock on the cover because it was plastic and that helped made it a little more durable. And I would glue three or four pieces of paper together on each side as well. And on most of them, whatever I did on this side, I did on this side, just with a very little change. So I'm not gonna go through both just to make the video a little shorter. Again, all these goodies are just things I found in my stash. Made kind of a little flip booklet here with uh, the quotes and scraps that I used on the book. Got to use some of these doilies. Here is a little booklet and I just left the bottom open so that it could attach to the belly band right there. 
did the same thing on this side just with a, a different piece and then just rounded the corners and also <coughs> added an eyelet with some ribbon and of course inked all the edges. I also um, put lace on almost all the, the pages. I like the way that looks and I like it when it's open and closed. I think that's cool. So as I said, this one's the same pretty much, just maybe with some different quotes. And then, oh, I love this. This is one of the two shabby chic pages. I, I wasn't able to find out everything about my great niece, a few things, so I wasn't sure if she was more into grunge or shabby chic. So I combined them in the journal. So here I uh, colored the doily with one of Tim Holtz Distress inks. It might be stained walnut. I'll double check and of course include that. And so here we have an envelope that I also inked with that same distressed ink and then stamped it up. And this is just index card. I put an eyelet in. Also, um, I, to hold them together, I have a couple little cute clips. So there's the decorated doily on the top and it says, and today dream. So then those are just all different pieces that I pulled out. Um, this, I saved one of my college books. This is a literature book um, or dictionary pages, something that you don't have to worry about what the actual words are gonna say. You don't want something inappropriate on there. So uh, those are the two I cho choose to use most often. Um, I also found my French book, so I can use that one as well. Okay, and so this one has a cute little purse charm. Isn't that adorable? It's just put in my stash. I'm sure I picked it up at the scrapbook convention, and it might have come from um, the tall mouse. That's usually where I get those fancier things. And I have included him before, but I can do that again. And this is a little shoe. And of course some lace on the edges. And then we have a bright page. Um, I just found and made tags that I hadn't used either. I have a bunch of these and I never even opened the pack. So I did utilize that. Um, there we go. Then just kind of collaged some little items on top and used a couple of the bird brads that I have included there's a little metal birdhouse on that one and here's a different style birdhouse that i put on this one and these oh and this is a little paper bag i had left over and so there's um just a little fold out book and i put a little tag on the edge and they're different sizes because i like the way that that works out and they are a little different on each side, just with the top paper um, matching the kind of green theme there. And then it just tucks right inside the paper bag that's attached to the page. If you can see right here, this is actually a picture frame and it is usable once you pull all these things out. I'm using it to tuck things in there, that way you know. The recipient knows that that is a tuck place. But on this side, there was a little stamp right here and a birdhouse right here. So I just utilized some stamps. I just saved them in a little plastic bag when I get an envelope with something I like. And then I made this little bird nest just with um, my jute. And I glued it as I went with a little bit of glossy accents and then put three little pearls in there. And I just think that turned out to be a cute little nest. Okay, and then the flowers I fussy cut and I'll share the pad that that came with too as a tuck spot. And then we have this page. I used, again, just made some tags, um, included a couple stickers. This one has the phone and a little bow. And then there's a couple more attached here with a key and some of that um, eyelash yarn I believe is the and then I did a little stamping here I love this embossing powder this glitter one and I will share 
the information on that. I actually got it in a pack of three, but I had never used this uh, really glittery one. And I think that turned out really cute. Some little tickets here. And then a, a little booklet she can do journaling on. And again, I'll share the paper with you. And on this side, it's pretty much the same. I did a, a bicycle with that same embossing powder. And then this little um, armoire opens up and I included some stickers, a camera, a bird case, and the phone. And then I don't know how well these are gonna show up, but out of my stash, I had these tiny little roses that I put on there as uh, door poles. Okay, and then you may have seen, I already have the tutorial, so I'm not gonna go through this. This is a stuffed paper bag that I made. Um, couple things that I noticed. I used white picket fence distressed ink when I was stamping the actual bag. It didn't show up as much as I liked, so on the next portions that are hanging over to brighten it up, I just used the Versamark with a white embossing powder. There's a little pocket here, a little pocket here. You flip this over and it opens up and there's another little pocket on either side that has a little tag booklet. Again, these are just from scraps that I used on this project and tied them together with a ribbon just to make a little booklet for mini pictures or notes. And this was a bag that I cut in half and turned into two pockets. So there's a smaller pocket up here and then a larger pocket and I just made a little booklet out of uh, actual paper. I didn't do anything to that. I just cut that piece out. And so, the, again, it's the same on the other page. So this is another of my shabby chic pages. I really like the way it turned out. All kind of good stuff tucked inside this paper bag that I just folded up. And again, there's a video out there, and I'll put a link on that video, too and some ribbon up here. All right, on these pages, I have clipped a tag on each one of the little file folders and then stuffed the file folders with, um, let's see, we have a pocket here and it has some sticky note sheets inside of it, uh, a couple more little tags, photo mat. So each one is just stuffed with little goodies like that. And then to keep it closed, I use some of these pretty paper clips that I found. I really got these paper clips to um, create some cool embellishments with attaching different things to them and I really need to do that I never have <laughs> played and tried that I'm gonna need to do that and again it's the, the same on this side more uh, pockets of press to do that right there we go all right and then this one is kind of a grunge page again just a bunch of tags that I kind of uh, did decoupaging together uh, to uh, thicken them up and so this is the actual holder and behind it we have different tags different photo marts photo mats i even included on some of the photo mats some corners that i had that matched and i really like the way this card um, turned out so i just took a piece of vellum and found a sticker that matched the card that I, I just punched holes and put the ribbon on there. The actual cards I used on each side were something that I had purchased um, as a, for some uh, charity and the colors just matched wonderfully. So I decided I would, I would use that. So I just created a little booklet with some different um, and four from different things. That was a calendar left over from my St. Jude's. I just folded it in half and put it in the middle. More cards. It's 
So I really, I, I really like the way that little booklet turned out. So on one side it's going vertically and on the other side it's going horizontally, but it's really the, the same idea. Here's another, the other one. And again, I just used different Empora cards that I found. That one's upside down. Um, and the calendar. Isn't that cute? And then this is actually some leftover ribbon I had from uh, Christmas wreaths. But the color worked. This page is so cute and super easy. Um, I chopped up two pages out of the album and added some lace to the top and the bottom of both pages. Um, cut out this little pocket and all these tags. I cut the side piece as well. Yeah, put them in too quickly. There we go. So I cut the side piece first and then I laid this over the top as a pocket and this paper I just cut the scallops. Uh, I lined it up with something else I had and just cut the scalloped edges. And then all these little cards, they were each on a page. So I added some brads and I don't know if you can tell but they're all sparkly. The whole thing is sparkly. So I thought it was, it was girly girl. And I liked the idea of traveling and going places since she's graduating and it's a whole new chapter of her life. So in keeping with that theme, I found that little Brad that's uh, the Eiffel Tower and just cute little cards. And that really did make it easy, I'm here to tell you piece of cake to put together. Probably took me 40 minutes to do these two pages. And when you do a lot of, uh, you know, intrinsic or tiny work, sometimes you need a, a page just to be a little quick. Okay, and then on this side, I created a little banner and I found these pockets in my stash. Um, out of some leftover vellum, I created the little banner and then more banners out of this same paper and then put a couple layered, there were, I found these uh, layers one, uh, two, three, four, five, and just put stickers on them that seemed appropriate. Let's see what is in the pocket here. These I had from a long time ago and I even put some, uh, it was almost like a decoupage item to um, make them firm. Added a little stamp to this one. Added a sticker to that one. And then inside the pocket, I used the Tim Holtz paper bag die cut and vellum to make these. Isn't that just cute? I'm going to use those a lot now. I love the way that turned out. And a friend of mine gave me stacks and stacks of that vellum and I've used it a few times, um, but now I, that is a great use for it. And I just made these uh, little booklets with some brads and paper to go inside of the bag. Yeah, I think she was, she made cards for a, a baby shower or a wedding, and she had overpurchased, and so I don't know how many packages of that I have. And the only thing I did different is I used my little, um, my smallest circle punch to create half a little circle to make a pull right there. Other than that, the whole thing is the uh, Tim Holtz bag. All right, here's a bright yellow page. Again, I included some metal. There's uh, little tags to do journaling on. Oh, this is cute, and I need to look up and figure out which site I saw this in. But it looks like an envelope, but instead it opens up this way. Is that not cool? And it also is quick enough to make the top tuck place a little more uh, secure for the other things that I wanted to put in there. Again, I just fussy cut the flowers in the pocket. And here is the last page. There's a large tag that she can put her name or date. I actually think I'm going to include a 
white marker that I, I have several extras. They show up really well on colored paper. This is a die cut from Wish. And on each side I made a little envelope and put a piece of a sticky note pad that matched to laugh out loud. And then a couple inspirational cards. Um, on the very back, I covered it with felt and lace just because I wanted it to be able to uh, sit down and, and not have anything on it that would um, either leave a mark on furniture or on the cover itself. So there we go. I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is turn this box into a little trinket box with some cool um, knobs on it and I will show that with you share that with you I'm going to do that with graphic 45 raining cats and dogs because one of justice interests is dogs so there we have it thank you very much please subscribe leave me a comment give me a thumbs up happy crafting and stay safe